Hey, what's up everybody? It's TR with Earth Angel Mushrooms. I want to give a big shout out to Brian Callow with What the Fungus. Um, I appreciate it, Brian, um, helping me get started with this YouTube thing. He's one of the guys who uh, twisted my arm, him and Eric Myers with Myers Mushrooms. Both great guys. Anyway, a lot of you guys have seen a lot of my videos and uh, they've been pretty serious. Um, but in all actuality, I'm not a very serious guy. Um, when it comes to mushrooms, maybe I am. Um, but in the real world, I'm not that serious of a guy. Uh, when you do something that's so hard, sometimes you got to take a break. So uh, through the Commercial Mushroom Growers Network, which is a group of uh, mushroom business owners, uh, we have a forum on Facebook. If you grow greater than 100 pounds a week, you qualify to become a member it will literally change your path as far as uh, mushroom cultivation anyway back to what I was saying um, on there on the CMGN as we call it I made a series of videos um, that are pretty lighthearted um, you can see on what the fungus is channel one of the videos I made for my fellow growers and I would coin them mushroom cultivation with TR David Anyway, so that's what you saw on there. Again, thanks a lot, Brian. So, tonight I wanted to make a video that's a little bit more lighthearted, sort of like me blowing up those bags. Anyway, um, so, contamination. I'd like to talk about contamination a little bit more. And um, so one thing you can get uh, all of the blocks to not contaminate in your grow room is a method that I like to call the grab and smash method. So what this does is it scares all the other blocks into not contaminating. First, I find a healthy block that has lots of mushrooms on it. That one doesn't look so good. Oh, there's one. That one would probably yield about two pounds of shiitakes. That's a good candidate. Second, Grab said shiitake block, roughly. Third, throw it on the ground and destroy it in front of all the other mushrooms. And then all the other blocks will be afraid to contaminate. And there you go. Tried and true method to scare all the other blocks into not contaminating. First, grab a block that has lots of mushrooms on it. Second, grab it, smash it on the ground. This will scare all the other blocks and they're not contaminated. And so you can see, no contamination, but lots of mushrooms. Anyway, hope you guys like my video and uh, subscribe to my channel. And again, Brian, thank you, sir. We'll talk to you guys later.